edges slayed to the mother freaking gods. <laughs> So you feel me? She's like 24 inch giving inch vibes. So like and subscribe and let's get into the video. This pack of wig caps I got from Amazon and it came with like 25 and it was only like seven bucks. So the link to these will be in the description. First, we need to swoop our edges back. Not swoop, slick them back. You need to make sure that all the way back or you end up with no edges. Who wanna be bald head? Not me. You can use the got to be like the gel or you can use the spray, whatever you prefer. But After your edges are receded back, Make sure they're back, like, cause you might cut them off and you're gonna be sad at the end. And I don't need you blaming me. I told you to put them back. So put your edges all the way back and look like a boy with me. Don't mind this bump. Don't. Next is our cap. So I suggest you get a cap that's lighter than you so you can use your makeup to tone it to your color. Yeah, just don't be light skinned trying to get a dark cap. I don't know, it doesn't, I never experienced it, but it don't sound pretty. Put some oil in your hair. Maybe you're not having your wig for that long, but just moisturize your hair. Maybe that's just me, but I'm gonna put some oil up in this thing. Just kidding, I don't know. I'm already bald, so a little oil won't, you know, it's helping me. Here, next you get your got to be and you spray around your hairline. Only your hairline, please don't try to come all up here, babe. Only get your hairline. And you dry it with the blow dryer until it's completely dry, cause it will lift up. And then you're gonna have your edges sticking out. This blow dryer is your best friend for this entire install. sit on the dryer for like 10 minutes tops to let this fully dry and I'll be right back major step I forgot to mention do not cut your ears out the way I did you're supposed to poke a hole and put your ear through the hole I guess and cut through the bottom don't do it the way I did I mean it's not bad I didn't, you can fix it but I didn't show me fixing it so cut it correctly Next is putting the Gatsby gel around your edges to give it that super bald cap method to make it go, I guess, invisible with your skin. After using the Gatsby to finish the last touch of the edges, go over with the blow dryer one more time and I'm going to go under the dryer again. Make sure it's dry so it doesn't lift, that's the point. For this step, do not put a lot of rubbing alcohol. People can break out like this, but it's good to have a clean surface before putting your lace on. Next is to put makeup on your cap so it can blend with your skin. I have this one. It's RK by Kiss, but I heard their, I don't know makeup, but the liquid one or the creamy one blends magically. So you should get that. But this costs like $5.99 at the beauty supply. And I got this at Dollar Tree for a dollar, but I feel like this matches a little better. It doesn't have to match perfectly. So, 
put it in and go around your entire front. You ain't gotta do the back and all that, but cover the cap. That little makeup brush wasn't working for me. But I used a beauty blender, but as you can see, it started going dark in certain places. I don't know if you could tell, but I accidentally put two caps on by accident. Call me dumb, yeah, whatever. But it didn't show on my wig, so I was fine. So put that wig on your head and test it. heads up before installing you should pluck your wig even if your wig is pre-plucked it still is not going to look as natural as it could be so if you get a new wig make sure you pluck it it will make everything better i plucked before but i was still not messing with it today we're gonna use a ghost bomb glue they're like the beauty supplies or you can get them on amazon and I got mine for four dollars on AliExpress. I mean, it's glue. I don't know. It's been working for me for my past three wigs. So it's glue. Twenty dollars to four dollars. Call me cheap, but it's a difference. So. Your first layer of the glue is supposed to be a thin, not too thick layer. It's supposed to focus on making the cap down to the head or melt to your head even more. I usually only do two layers. People normally do three, but two works for me. So I say do two if you're a beginner. Cut the lace into three separate sections so it can be easier to install. I, I thought I recorded, but I guess not. And my wig doesn't look plucked, but I literally was plucking for an hour. And probably more. But it's okay. Now for this part. Make sure you can see, because you want to place that lace in the wrong place, okay? So, make sure you have a good mirror of yourself, okay? And when you're done, make sure you do a firm hold so it can stay or it doesn't lift back up while you're trying to do another side. And going over with the rat tail comb backwards on the glue gives it a perfect meltdown. So make sure you do that after you have placed the lace. This part isn't super necessary. I'm just doing this before I put on my got to be and my elastic band, but I felt it was necessary. So if you decide to do it, do it, okay? But you put the got to be on the edges. This gives it the last meltdown that you need to make sure it's super lace wear, okay? And make sure you get your elastic band and make that thing tight. It'd be better to get like one from Michael's, a local craft store. My present comb was a little hot, burnt two rat tail combs, but that's a different discussion. But now I'm going to start styling my hair. I'm not curling it today, but today we're going to straighten it with the flat iron and the hot comb. So I'm going to begin with that. Them flyaways was annoying as heck, but just pull out that wax stick. That one's a little greasy, but it did its job, as you can tell. I know you see me moving my mouth a lot. These are my thinking faces, okay? Everyone got a thinking face. I don't care. I'm not the only one. I can't be. Some scissors. I request like cuticle scissors because they cut really close. You see? Or a brand new razor. 
It's the best part. Uh, when you're using the razor, make sure you don't go straight across the lace, okay? That just, that's not it. No hairline is straight across the forehead. I know yours isn't because mine ain't. But when you're doing this, make sure you go in a zigzag or just a crazy motion. Okay, I don't mean crazy, crazy motion. You know what I'm trying to say. But do not, do not forget to cut out your ears. I forgot to say this part. Cut out your ears before you cut off the lace. Like that on the YouTube video. What you mean? You look mad. I am. At this point, your girl was a little mad. I had a little burn on my forehead. It wasn't bad, but everything was just going downhill. I felt like I spent hours on plucking and it didn't even look plucked properly. So I was upset with that. I spent a little more time on plucking. I warned you about the burn, don't act surprised. It's not even that bad, it even show later. Now we're gonna pull out all the edges and wrap the elastic band around it. You don't really have to put the got to be, but I felt like, I don't know, the got to be just be saving it. So I used the got to be before I wrapped the elastic band again. And I let the elastic band sit for around 10 minutes. I continued to pluck more, so I spent that time wisely. Not me forgetting to record me cutting the edges, but all you literally do is go with your scissors and go in a diagonal motion going down. And I don't know how to really explain edges. I mean, swoop until you like your swoop, like straight up, like, I don't know. Just keep swooping. I use three different toothbrushes and three different combs. Okay, maybe not three different combs, but use whatever to make your edges how you want your edges to look. I did the one side, and I didn't really show the other side, but I showed the ending, and your girl swooped to the gods, okay? Ooh, look at that. It just laid. Who this? Nails going perfect. I actually went over my edges with makeup, and I tied a scarf around it later. This is part isn't really necessary. I really didn't need to do it, but I felt I needed to because I had a color wig. This is my first time doing a color wig, and I was kind of scared. I bleached and colored it all by myself, and... I think I did pretty good. If you guys want a video on the prepping before installing your wig, like bleaching, coloring, and plucking, let me know in the comments. I was going for that flip over middle part thing, but I couldn't really do it. This is my birthday hair. I was going to curl it later, so I wasn't tripping. But this is the ending. Thank you for watching my entire video. Like and subscribe and turn on notification bells. Thank you for watching.